All right. Hi, um, I'm Andrew. Um, that's me, um, Andrew Radev on GitHub. I wanted to quickly show you a simple Vim plugin I've been poking around. Um, so I have this repository here, and there's a bunch of changes. I want to commit them. And usually what I do is just do a git commit av because it's just so simple. And I go through the, um, the diff, and I look through it, and I see that you know, what kind of changes I've got and whether I'm missing something. And then I noticed that I have a debugging statement right there. And it's pretty annoying. And I have to like I have to bail out. I have to go there and find it, and you know fix this and then commit again. Um, and there might be different ways to fix this and you know, to avoid this kind of problem. Uh, one option would be add p, which is pretty cool. Like you know add things one by one. So I want this. I want this. I want this. I don't want this. And I want this. But this is kind of annoying as well in this case because okay if I run this every time, I. Well, I add more things than I remove, right? I add more things that I don't rem that I don't add, and it's um, and if I have to do this every time, I waste a lot of time instead of just doing a commit AV. So, so it, I thought about it and I figured out that the, the laziest way to do it is to just edit the diff. So I do this I git. Um, well, first I'm gonna type vim and I'm gonna execute the command, which you don't really see right now. I'm gonna execute the command g apply. And I get the full diff, just like before. Actually, the difference is right now I can look through it, and when I see this kind of thing, I can just remove it. And notice that like this number here is going to change right now. It changes to 6. So when I poke around in this diff, it actually gets updated. And since I saved the buffer, you can see that um, now this adds everything to the index except for that one file. That is the put a statement. I can also poke around a bit more. Like, um, I can change the style here a bit, maybe. I can, um, I can even remove a single line, add a new one called foobar. And again, this is when I commit this, you will see that, well, let me just commit it. And when you take a look at the logs, you see that so this is here, this is here, it's everything is all right. Um, and this here change is applied as well. Um, and of course, the things that are remaining are the things that were not committed in, you know, in the actual process. Um, so you can do whatever you want with them. And ideally, I would really like to get it to work with git commit. So I could just do git commit av and just be able to edit the diff you know, internally. Like, like git commit av, except better. But I still don't know enough uh, Git internals, unfortunately, to get this working because Git commit AV is actually just going to commit everything without you know, ignoring the index. So, uh, and that's probably something I'm going to hack on tomorrow. But this is still something I find useful. It's a small thing, um, and it's it's not very Vim related, related actually, because this thing can be implemented simply in any other editor anyway. Um, it's kind of like. Well, as I said, git commit av except better. At least that's the idea of it. And that's pretty much all I got. Thank you.